Hi everyone, today we are going to do African black people type hair, but it is relaxed. And we're going to show the best way to use the Ox products when you have this type of hair. So enjoy! First, she's going to rinse the hair, she's not going to comb. She's just going to rinse the hair with, with preferably warm water. If you don't have warm water, that's okay. And then she's going to use the shampoo. If her hair had a lot of buildup, she would use the shampoo three times. So that's the Ox shampoo. If her hair had a lot of buildup, she could also mix a little bit of the baking soda, just a small amount of baking soda in the shampoo to remove some of the buildup. But she's a regular Ox user, so she has no buildup because our products do not cause buildup. So she's going to shampoo her hair twice. Note how she's shampooing her hair. She's not swirling the hair around. And the reason is because that causes tangles. What she's doing is she is concentrating a lot on the scalp and then for the rest of the hair, she's just gently massaging those um, strands to remove whatever buildup is on them. So now, this is her second shampoo. I'm sure you noticed that even with the first shampoo, there was quite a bit of sud. And the reason is because, like I said, she uses the Ox products and she does not have that heavy product buildup on her hair. Once again, she's concentrating more on the scalp and then gently going out to the rest of the, of the strands. Not creating tangles. She's not twirling the hair around her head. It's just absolutely wrong to do that. Trying to comb tangles means breakage. When it comes to African textured hair, especially when it is relaxed, you have to be extremely careful. It is very fragile. It breaks very easily. Now she's going to rinse her hair. So now she has removed the excess, just very gently just remove the excess. 
and she is going to use the booster it's the preconditioning booster and what the booster does is it actually helps to retain moisture and the reason is because I want you to think of a sponge think of a sponge with glue on the back of it so when so think of the booster as many sponges with glue on the back of it so you put this the, the the booster on the hair gently apply it you leave it alone for three minutes and because there is glue on the back of the sponge it sticks to the to the to the strands remember that hair is porous but african black textured hair is even more porous than all other hair types so that means that it's wide open and the cuticle layers are lifted you may see a photo of this on our page and what happens is when you put the booster on with as we are saying as we have said before thinking of it as a sponge with with actual actual glue on it when it sticks to the strands after the three minutes when you rinse the excess that has not stuck and you put the conditioner on what does a sponge do a sponge absorbs so right then and there you now have better retention of the moisture because now the conditioner has the ability to stay on the strands and in the in the strands as opposed to it being wide open and being affected by the ac and the wind and everything as you know typically when you finish doing african black texture here a lot of times it feels really dry after but not with these products the booster helps for moisture retention so now she has had the booster in her hair for three minutes so she's rinsing thoroughly preferably warm water if you don't have warm water that's okay she did not comb her hair she just applied the booster and allowed it to sit. Now she's going to use the conditioner. She's going to make sure the conditioner is all over. Now with our conditioner, you can do so many things. You can use it for three minutes, you can use it for a minute, you can use it for half an hour, you can even use it as a deep treatment. We leave it on our hair for three minutes and remember because of the preconditioning booster, which is a weekly treatment, it, the conditioner itself will have better retention. So it will be more effective. So now we are going to rinse her hair and Take note, she's only combing where the water is running through. Note that when the conditioner was sitting in her hair, she did not start combing. This is the time you're supposed to comb your hair, not as you apply the conditioner. You wait until the water is running through the hair, and I guarantee, even if you don't get a perfect comb out, it will be much better less stress on your hair if you don't try to comb while the conditioner is just sitting in the hair. She's not causing any tangles, she's allowing the hair to basically just fall okay okay so now she is going to as you can see she's not 
we can have a corner strands just one quick dab and that is it now she's going to spray the leave-in conditioner right And she's going to section. So now she is going to section her hair in five to six sections. I'll show you. Well, after she's finished, I will show you. When you are sectioning, if, if you need more of the leave-in mist, just spray it. And she's using a large white teeth comb. So now she's going to blow dry her hair. And remember, we use low heat. So we like to use the um, silver bird. One day we'll have our own blow dryer and flat iron, I, I, I promise. But we use that, um, it's the, the um, speed is the, is the highest, but the heat is always in the center. We use warm heat. We don't use hot at all. And she's going to blow dry her hair gently. And believe me, it takes a short while. And then we are going to flat iron her hair. Note the type of clip that she uses. It is the silver clip. And it has a an opening there. And here I have one. So, Fadia has thoroughly dried Kmars here, and we can see that she has a lot of body and bounce and sheen. So now we are going to flat iron her here. So now we are going to use the ox butter. And this is the amount. And then we are going to use a small amount of the ox finisher. Very small amount. 
It seems hard, but it really is soft. And then we are going to use one spray of the serum. Now one may wonder why all three. Think of yourself as baking a cake. The butter, the butter is the butter in the batter. The oil is the oil and or water. And the finisher is the eggs that holds everything together. This helps to further seal cuticle layers even on relaxed hair is excellent on natural hair but even on relaxed hair is excellent before you flat iron so now we're going to combine all three and gently apply it to the hair and as you can see i'm sectioning her hair So now, I have extra on my hand. If it was my hair I was doing, I would rub it on my skin, it's quite fine, but I'm doing her hair. Now I'm using the, I'm using the Hair Art Ceramic Flat Iron, is ceramic, is ceramic and it, it we put it to 375 degrees when, when doing relaxed hair. So we like to blow dry the hair. We like to blow dry the hair. The hair is already dry. Her hair is already dry, but we like to blow dry just to make sure that we disperse the, that combination better, okay? So now we're going to section her hair. By the way, I'm using a tail comb, but I am not ever going to use a tail comb in her hair again, or she shouldn't be using a tail comb in her hair again until the day of shampoo. Instead, you always use the large white tooth comb. And actually, Ox teaches, we really recommend for African textured for African textured black, black people type hair, especially when it is relaxed, you only comb your hair on the day of the shampoo. Go to the Common Issues and Solutions page and you will know why. We give information as to why you should do that. So now I'm going to flat iron her hair. I am not going to keep going over and over her strands because that is actually too much heat. So as you can see, what I do is I am not going five, six, many times over her hair strands. I take a section and I go one, two, three, all over, all over, and then it ends in a little bit, and then that's it. Once again. One, two, three. Right. Right. So the ends. Basically, you can do whatever you want to do. I mean, if you want curls, you, you may do curls. But just try not to let the flat iron 
stay, sit too long on the strands. You know, many, many persons with relaxed hair believe that their hair has to look stiff and no movement and lifeless and very greasy and weighted down and it is so not true. Your hair can look very shiny without being greasy and can have a lot of movement. to prove that to you today. My hair is looking really fabulous, bouncy, healthy. I'm moving really fast. I'm not trying to burn her strands with the flat iron. Her hair has a lot of body and movement. So let me show you. I do that and it just falls very nicely. And when she shakes, it goes right back into place. Right back into place. 